this is Monica from Coca Jar Channel. Well, today is the full moon. And today we're really going to talk about and focus on things and tools that we can use during the full moon. Like my last session I did was all about the new moon. And as we started February for the new moon, we literally have a clean slate, like we mentioned in my past video. And you can check it out in our YouTube about setting intention, how to, to, to set intention. So this video is all about how to let go during the full moon. And the reason why there is this method and how to use, I always say natural energy, natural tools that's out there is because these are the time when you get that super extra power and vibration, as well as the frequency that we can't even see that manifests these, this intention, this mindset that we put into. And so today is all about how to let go, okay? So I set up my studio and welcome you to our Coco Joy Sanctuary. Well, I take you all over to give you that energy that I brought in because I decided to let go, right? And so there is a lot of things that we've all done during 2022 years ago when we got hit with the pandemic. We were in panic. We didn't know what to let go. We don't know what to put our intention to. And that's why it all comes to developing the skill sets of your mind and how to control this thing called your cheetah mind, which is your monkey mind, okay? And so let's get to this section of where I can teach you and you can join me. So this is a time to grab your cup of tea, your notepads and pen while I take you out to this side. As you can see, I set up my TV into my screen because <laughs> I decided to let go of watching TV, right? And so instead of the TV still works mm -hmm. and maybe one day I'm going to decide to put on the cable and let it go, come out and media and hopefully media will be different. But in the meantime, I'm using it for its other purpose. And so that is really about life. And so while you guys all get situated, I'm going to clean this up. But before I do that and wipe everything up, it's just like your life, right? We got to get prepared to get things ready to let go. And that's what I'm going to teach you today. So but before that, because this part is really important about how to create your intention, okay? And this is the same way goes when we let go. You need to seek your value. Really seek your value, right? If I'm going to be working for this person or if I'm going to be married to this person or if I'm going to put my whole entire life into this relationship, whether it's business, whether it's a love with, you know, marriage, and most of all, love, because guess what? February is very, very strong on the energy of love. Love can be many, 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 many ways of interpreting, right? Because it's that unconditional feelings that we feel within ourselves, our heart, our soul, our tamoshi, our spirit of life, our purpose in life. So... While I get this part clean, we're going to talk about 
Why your value is because it's your everlasting life. Next, we gotta always put into our intention and things that we're gonna let go is the worth of it. What is that worth of it, right? You gotta think, and is it worth to get a divorce? Is it worth to scream and yell at my kids? Is it worth to always feel miserable? Is it worth for me to feel this way? This nagging feeling with a fake smile going into work, going to parties, hanging out with your friends, you know, because that's all come to, to what you feel about it. It's basically what you feel about your worth because we need to figure out what is your value for an everlasting life, right? And like I said, this is the energy this month is your love, really. That's why I had a long um, video about this segment. So you can check it out on our YouTube channel and it's really about how to write your intention or really it's how you really want to seek your lifestyle it comes down to your wellness your well-being and so that all gonna come into play when we write about what to let go okay because love is really something that is no judgment clear across the board you know, and, and that's where right now we are at. 2022 is really the quantum leap of people and how they feel feeling right now and how they value themselves, how much worth they feel within themselves and how much love it's going to be. So when we do this exercise each full moon, we have to analyze. We have to self-analyze. I mean... For example, I've been getting, you know, some numbness, some tingling sensation on my left leg, and I'm thinking, oh my God, am I gonna get um, a, a heart attack? Am I gonna get a stroke or something wrong with my heart or something wrong with this, something wrong with that? And my mind is going 240, and mind you, I got into two car accidents, and I was told, I'm not sure, but to this day, none of the doctor really truly confirmed that I have MS, multiple sclerosis. I was told when I was in like kindergarten or, or first grade out at my elementary school where we all had to go to the um, health room to get checked, which now I think about, it's kind of weird, but they told me I had MS. And so, you know, things that it's inputted or ingrated, we think we have these issues, these faults, these things that problems. And so that's going to keep on really racing my mind. And it took me six months to finally get an appointment to let go of this thought that maybe something is wrong. I need to get a check. But either which way, once you hit past 50, you always need to go get your nerves checked. You know, go to a neurologist because this is so important because it gives you that signal everything from your taste buds to your eyes to everything the senses because it comes through the spine and that's a whole different subject because i got into it with my um doctors and 20 minutes end up to be almost wow almost a one hour appointment over a one hour appointment but anyways so you know that's one thing that we really need to look into is our health and wellness and when it's time to let go of this nervous overthinking of something is wrong with me or you know if we take off our mask that we're gonna get corona or if we get all these shots that were protected or it could be the opposite where I don't need to be vaccinated because I have XYZ and so you know, there's a lot of things and that's one thing that is, you know, has been the biggest topic of people's free will, people's freedom, and people's choices. Because we can choose whatever we want to. It's how we choose it at the end of the day. 
you know and like i always say like i was talking to my team i said you guys can keep on plucking like a chicken or you're going to be flying like an eagle and when you fly like an eagle your mindset you know from a bird's eye view you can start to do many things and how it's going to start to trigger how it's going to start to work it doesn't matter if you are a consultant or if you are um, a health coach or you are working at a nine to five job at a social security office or you're working as a government worker or you're working as as a baker a chef or even a, a digital media graphic designer these concepts these tools are used for our everyday life and really it's how you create this what I call a tripodal force. A tripodal force is really getting to know whichever angle it falls. In Japanese, we say the daruma. No matter how it korobu, it's got its foundation somewhere, right? And to do that, we also need to do this, right? We're gonna bring in the intention, and so we can feel the content in a state of peaceful and happiness and why and how this tripodal force works this tripodal force work is due to this structure called the 3e method the 3e method and i forgot my pointer today but I, that reminds me i have to go and put some cute color on it so the tripodal force is to create it's when we do the first E, the, to enter. We're going to create and we're going to manifest. How? It's because this intention we put into. That's when the mind is going to start to work. Because we just put in a new formula. Right? Because we're creating of what we want to manifest. I want to manifest love. I want to find a good person that is so compatible to my lifestyle so in tune to who i am and what i am you know and i always say in my love section and how do we manifest the woman the man the person of our dreams into and it doesn't mean only for love of physical mental relationship it's more of a whole lifestyle and a whole well-being. You know, sometimes we get so into where I was married, but my husband cheated on me. And I just kind of didn't say anything. Or we can say, well, my wife doesn't cook. And yet it's cost so much money to just keep on buying food, take out food or you know there's all different kind of situation and so when we feel that happening are we happy do we to feel to feel and be content right in a state of mind of peacefulness because peacefulness is something that you create you manifest you surround yourself with that and when you surround yourself with that, it's because you put in, you create it, you're manifesting it because you put it into your intention. Make sense? And so that's why your mind is going to start to change this mindset of learning and listening to your heart. Because you start to understand your value, your worth. And you start to understand this thing called love. And that's why this month of February, yes, we have Valentine's, yes, love is in the air, but love is in the air when it comes to you and how you want to let go, how you can bring in new intention and how you can manifest all of these tools, okay? Because why we pick a certain time of the e e month, Everybody always says, why the moon? I said, because the moon cycle is really literally centered around the woman's cycle to give birth. 
right? Go through menstrual cycles. The same, almost the same as, well, it is the same as the, as the moon cycle, the menstrual cycle. And so that's when we start to take action. That's when we figure out what we want to create. That's when we want to figure out what we want to manifest. That's when we figure out what our intention is. And we ready to conquer, to enter, to execute. And when we execute, we need to take action. Right? Action speaks louder than words. And so if you put this in your circle, your wheel of life circle, and that's another course that I teach about how to do this is really how we're gonna put in and lay out this blueprint. And that's why I said it's so important to work on a 20 year cycle because that's when things are evolving, revolving to a bigger, bigger part, which is the outer world. And so if you have your inner world, your inner structure, your foundation on where you stand and who you are, the outer world, no matter how it shakes and rumbles, because there's going to be a lots of rumbling in this next three to five, six months, okay? And so I really care about it because this is my love. This is my passion. This is the gift that I got to receive from the sources and how to understand this and bring it out these two because it's one of a kind it's very very unique and the system of how it's done it's really paying attention to your surrounding and let it go and really trusting the process because once you trust the process guess what you're trusting your own instinct okay and so we're coming to this forefront because this is when your mindfulness and your heart starts to beat differently. Sounds to, you know, your, your heart is melting, as we say, right? It's because we're ready to formulate a different kind of action. How? This is a point when these two things collide, the fork in the road time, right? We're all in the fork in the road right now, right now as government, as people are fighting against each other. And great example, look at the Super Bowl, Super Bowl Sunday. Over 70,000 people came to the so, you know, to California, to Los Angeles to watch the Super Bowl game and go Ram. Yes, they won. And so Nobody was wearing masks, not that I saw. Well, some people were wearing masks and some people didn't care. And with that energy, it brings a new light to the outer world. And so all of these are all coming into play right now, <laughs> believe it or not. This is the fork in a row because there's gonna be a lot of things coming out because there's a sign of poison, poison of things of whether it's the, from the um, pharmaceutical medical field, whether, whether it's poison from the government politician, poison from the higher ups, lies and truth, all revolve because the people power is speaking up. You have things that people were just, you know, shut up about or they just played, they're talking. I mean, it's crazy. It's really, they may not see it in the mass media, but in the real world, I mean, I'm getting calls from left to right. I mean, whew, some of my people out there in Los Angeles, they are going at it like 240 and they will text me. And the next thing you know, they write it in their own media. You know, they created their own way of their own channel. Just like me, I created my own Coco George channel is because that's the new way of communicating. And, you know, it's, it's what we put in the intention. So when we come into this fork in the road, which we are in right now, for example, 
Excuse me, let me turn off my alarm. Because I always forget that I, I do so much and I forget to eat that it's not good. So that's why I put an alarm to remind me of my bad habits that I need to eat and I need to do what I need to do. So that's where it comes here to a let go series, right? And we're here on this thing about letting go is because you know, they always say the full moon, the crazy and the wild people come out. It's because they're letting go, maybe. Maybe they're doing their way of woo, letting it go. So what it is is that when we let go, this is the third E, the exit plan, right? The exit plan can mean so many good or bad, right? We need to exit to come in, I mean to go out, right? And so when we go out, we are detoxing literally your lungs and your heart and lungs are really always against each other. You know, there is a pose, I say in the yoga pose, where we do, do this for 10 seconds where the heart and the lungs become into a marriage. And it works. That 10 second of breath which is called the life force and so when we let go we're actually moving the heart and the lungs the lungs are what we breathe in all the things that we went through in life we're breathing it all in and the lungs are taking so much of this literally this junk this crap into us and then slowly the heart may palpitate for feeling good or even feeling anxious feeling sick feeling scared and so all of these things are really working through your system your inner system because we don't see this all the time and that's why when the heart and lung marriage at the exit point of your life, you need to really see yourself as what? Balance, to conquer, to be in position, right? And so this is the life force that we're looking at. And it's so funny because on my... Um, Facebook page as well as my Instagram page I put up what words do you see in this full moon and it's a whole bunch of words that's inside this and I'll post it up here on my YouTube but it gives yourself that second that moment to think what you need to let go and what I saw in this full moon and you know, because I, I got it and I was like, okay, what do I see? I saw interesting words. It was abundance, it had hustle, and it had balance. And I was like, wow, that really hit the nail in the coffin. Why? It's because it's really where I am right now. I'm hustling so i can really put in my in intention of what i work this hard for what is coco Jor, who i am and what i'm all about you know i'm all about really the well-being the wellness of dogs as well as human how it's because i'm able to use these kind of tools to really create and manifest these things into my life every single day. Knock on wood. Seriously. And so it takes a while. Yes. Doing all of this, it's, it's really a hard work. But guess what? The payback is grand. Why? Because we end up feeling blissful why 
It's because we found our ikigai, which is our purpose in life. And that's really the life energy, the life force, and why we want to hustle of life. Sometimes, oh, we got to hustle for the money, or we got to hustle for the man, or we got to hustle for the job, or we got to hustle for this. Why can't we just hustle on our belief system? Why can't we just hustle of finding out who we are, what we are, and what we want to be in life? How we can find this balance in life, which brings out the true abundance of my life. And that's why I was like, whoa, these words are powerful because words are powerful. And that's why all these things I bring out is to bring out what you see because what you see are, are the windows to your soul. So take this test and see what, you know, this full moon is going to bring to you. Because this is, if you're doing this for the first time, guess what? That's the truth of the answer going to be and what your soul right because your eyes are your windows to your soul these lenses of how you decide to change it right when we go to the eye doctor they do this thing like this and they go like this and how many this it's the same thing we're testing of our self and our skills to see because sometimes we can just be blind as a blind muck like we can't even mullet I don't know why they say a blind mullet. Our mullet cannot see. I don't know. But anyways, no, no pun intended on that one. But anyways, you know, it's more about really how we see ourselves. What you see on the camera right now about me and what I see from the inside out, it's really maybe a million different things. And that's why I love doing this is because I'm just being real. No makeup, no nothing. You know, they said, oh, the way you're supposed to present yourself is this, 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 this. And I said, honey, I don't have time for makeup. I forgot how to put makeup on. I'm just going to bring it on because this is my intention to be real. This is my intention to show people behind the scene what it takes to understand what I go through, how I work on my garden. I don't only talk, I dig, I dig, I dig that hole. I plant, I plant, I plant my seed, you know? And from that seed, my intention grows out into a blossom, into a beautiful flower, which I prune and cut and use a seed to replant it again. Cause guess what? I believed in a system, it works, and now I can plant another seed of abundance, another, another way of doing it. And that's what I do out there. I hustle out there in a garden, right? Because I bring what I, I want to believe in. It's believing in the process, believing in an intention that I literally plant from the ground up. And so everything we think is going to come like this because we are in a stage of life which is instant gratification yeah great sometimes when i tweet i tweet the wrong things you know and sometimes i post i post the wrong thing because i want instant gratification but then when i look and reread it or i have my team post for me and they spell something wrong or they do this or that some people by then comment or some people I'm like oh she doesn't know how to write or oh da -da 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 -da. whatever for me, is my intention was to get it up on time, keep the momentum of what I'm doing, and keep on planting the seed of people's knowledge about who is Coco Jor. What is she doing? How can she help with some of the things that she's talking about to make my lifestyle for myself as well as for my dog a better lifestyle, right? And so I'm so excited, like, you know, we're working to create so much contents on how to make your dog treat from garden to table, how to make dog food, because I went through the whole entire nine yards and seeing what's inside there. 
I love to cook on what I eat. You know, and people said, oh, okay, well, there's so much, I'm so confused on her channel. That's why I have a channel because on one channel, there's many different things to enlighten you. And that's why I'm taking you behind the scene. And I am so happy to share with you my knowledge, my wisdom, and most of all, all of these unique secrets that I was able to learn from my mentors, from my sensei, from my gurus, because I was able to travel the world to literally eat, pray, and love. And I believed in that process. 20 years later, look at me. I have this thing going where I'm able to share with you all of this knowledge and there's more to it because there's courses, there's webinars, and most of all, our membership room where you can go and sign up and choose the different courses, choose the different topics, and always have this cooking recipe on the side in case you want to try it out and do for that challenge as well too. So this is really about detoxing thyself through this process because if we keep on feeling that now I can clear this board up because we went through all of this and this is really something that I want to start with everyone is how to detox you know this is since 2001 in april spring is coming and the garbage man is here right now talk about taking taking out the garbage it's literally in front of my house talk about timing right just believe in the process so i'm believing in the process that all of this is going to come off because it's been sitting here while I was teaching the class because it's pretty much the same tools and method, but it's how we're gonna use it to change it. So this is not really cooperating and I need a much stronger dose of cleaning with a towel and going all of that, but this is good enough to show Let's use a different color pen because we're going to write some good things to say goodbye. So when we say goodbye, we all want to just like this chalk, right? We all want to say goodbye. We're going to throw away this. We're going to do because spring is coming and spring cleaning is pretty soon here to stay to clean out all that but just like this I'm don't have I don't think anybody want to watch me clear out the board and do that but and we always feel that we are always in a rush and things in life right so that's why this tool to do this twice a month is the new moon is on a clear piece of paper Write your intention. So my intention, for example, and this was February, always write the date. You know, this was actually February 1st when there was good number one and two, two, okay? And it was also Chinese New Year. So the first thing is I wanna do is, I wanna bring clarity to my business. And then I do the why, what, when, how. Why I'm gonna do this? Because people really don't understand what I'm doing because I used to have a brick and mortar, Coco Jor, dog empowerment spa, and I focus on dog skincare. Then I closed the chapter on that and decided to do it where I can bring it to not just my community, but to the community of everyone. And so I did 
my next thing is what I did. Why I did? Because I was going through five deaths that passed away. I was exhausted. I was burnt out. I was this and that. Okay? And this can keep on going on because I was holding all of that. What? What am I going to gain from all of this? Mourning, burnt out, loneliness, etc. What? What is going on in all of this? You have to analyze all of this. What is all of this? And dot, 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 dot. When? Okay, because we got to trust in the process because the process is not going to start until we have a clear identity of what and why are we feeling this. When is all of this going to change? So that's when we're going to start to really focus on this. And that's why I said there's always that fork in a row where our mind and our mindfulness, just like our heart and our lungs, is going to start to take control of this when system. This is a very hard system, okay? But this is when we have to come into realization and this is just in the beginning of the clarity because unless you're clear to your consciousness, your mindset is not going to start to develop. And so this part is when all of this, I'm going to start to take action, when I'm going to do this, and when, and, and next is the step of how am I going to do all of this, right? I went through this three, three W process, and, but now I'm at the most difficult question of all is how I'm going to do this. Well, guess what? How are you going to do this is you have to first of all do all of this and get the clarity and then you because we are creatures of what bad habits so we have this consistency of what our behavior our habits And our time so it's breaking down to the consistency because we have the clarity right so now we're looking at the consistency of what's holding it all back how is all of this going to be holding or the process of it going forward so we have to look at the consistency and that all comes down to our behavior problem our habits and our time maintenance, right? We always say we only have 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days. And what is today? Today is, like, for example, February the 16th, the full moon. And that's why timeline and timetable is good so we can remind ourselves because we are creatures of bad habit of forgetting and our habits keeps on changing. And that's why it's good when you have a consistency of using a certain tool or method which goes around your life cycle, which is the moon cycle. Okay? And so we have all of this going on. And so the third one is, the third C is called a contract. And when we write this contract, I'm going to put three points over here. Is a contract we pick up over here? Because we're going to write this contract so we can be clear about what we do. We're going to have the consistency of how we're going to manage all of these three things. Because the clarity is now taking a much more clearer 
because we're going to create a system. So this contract has to have, most of all, is belief system. Okay? If you're entering into the contract, you're going to believe what's going to be written on what you wrote. Okay? Next is the wellness system. Because this, this contract is only for you, yourself, me, myself, and I, right? It's all about you. It's finally all about you. And this contract, besides having the belief system, the wellness system, and, and the last system is the forgiveness system. which is the hardest system we have right now. Because we don't know how to forgive sometimes. And when we use this big word forgive, it could be forgiving our loved ones, forgiving ourselves for eating that chocolate cake, forgiving ourselves to not do what's right. We'd be too hard within ourselves or we we love so hard that we can't forgive. And so once we understand and how we can forgive, that's when we can start to let go. Let go of things that no longer serves you. Let go of things that's no longer going to be part of you in this contract. Let go of things that finally make you feel free. And so your heart and your lungs can beat as one because you detox all of this in your system that's going to cause you internal heartaches, internal health problems, internal overall, your well-being. And so... Why I focus so much on letting go is because it's a system that we need to be very consistent of and we need to have clarity in order for us to write the third thing is this contract. And it's a mindful right now of what I'm talking about. And so repeat, repeat, repeat this exercise each month. Because each month, if we didn't clear what's on the contract, because nobody's asking you to hurry up and do it in one month or 28 days, it's really believing in the process that you wrote this contract because you believe all of this is true to yourself. You need to, you feel that this is part of the behavior problem that you have of being maybe too nice or maybe being too mean or maybe being too wise ass about it or maybe being a procrastinator about it, okay? Habits, we all have it, right? We have a bad habit of itching or we have a bad habit of drinking that extra cup of coffee or tea. We have a bad habit of swearing or drinking or whatever it may be, smoking, I don't know. That's the habits that you created. Nobody else created this habit. Everybody can blame everybody about it. But at the end of the day, you need to be, be responsible for your action if you want to have a much more clear conscious for your clarity. And so by doing all of this, we really have to understand that letting go does take time. Letting go is understanding why it's going to be let go. But it doesn't mean that it could be forever. It could just letting go of some of these person's bad habit. For example, you know, you're so nice and then people 
keep on using you to do certain work or certain of their favors. Oh, I got a favor for you to ask. You're the only one who knows how to do this. So you're like, okay, what do you need? I'll help you. But then it takes up what? <laughs> Your time, right? And so all of these things has to come down to your timetable. Can you keep on helping other people's bad habit of being, you know, using you or being a narcissistic person who keeps on making you feel bad or gaslighting you so you can feel bad so they can feel good and they're using you to, to getting their life updated because their timeline is opened up to, for them to do other things, right? It's an equal play of action. And so that's why, you know, really the theme of this one is really about, maybe these are the words that I had to pick yesterday to see what the full moon is bringing. And it was really about abundance, hustle, and balance. That was my February eyes that I saw through that, you know, that words are a whole bunch of words. And so using these kind of exercise will help you give you your clarity, your consistency, and really gives you a plan and how to let go. So I hope this session really helped you and you can use this as part of how to do things for each full moon you take care and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well as get sign up for a newsletter and it'll let you know when our courses are available and most of all i enjoy sharing you all of my aloha you take care and i'll see you at the next channel aloha